cleaning up after the bomb blast down here in Nyanya, the debris of this powerful explosion. If you come over this way, you can see the wreckage of some of the cars that uh, were exploded during the blast. Police officers here, as well as the military, and all sorts of people here in Nyanya really wondering why on earth this place has been targeted again the second time in less than three weeks. If we move the camera over this side, those, that area over there is the bus station. That's where the bomb exploded on the 14th, killing more than 70 people. We don't know for sure if this was Boko Haram. They did say that they carried out the attack on the 14th. Perhaps this is a way, if it was Boko Haram, of saying you can't secure your city, whatever security measures you put in place. There is, of course, some anger as well as frustration and sorrow, because this is coming on top of the terrible news of the more than 200 school children who are still being held, the girls being held in the northeast of the country by suspected Islamist, Islamist militants.